Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Wrapped in Scraps channel. I'm glad you're here with me today. Whatever you're doing today, you know, I like to jump right on into it. Well, as you can see from the thumbnail, um, we've been making stuff as usual. But before I showed you the robes on, because I'm going to show you the robes, plural, on. Now, the first one I'm going to show you, I made, and you'll see some footage of that um, in the little video that I'm going to run before I show you the robe. And then there's several that I bought, but I still sublimated mugs to match them. And why, you ask, in my sublimating mugs? Because why not? My daughter says I'm extra. My oldest daughter, she says, Mom, you're kind of extra. And you know what? I don't mind being extra because I'm extra glad that I'm here and that God blessed me to be here today and that I'm alive. And I don't take any day for granted. And so, yep, I like to have my pretty robes on, especially if I'm not going anywhere for the day. If I'm just dropping off kids, I'll drop them kids off, come home and work in my robe with my pretty matching mug. I sure will. And guess what? I love it. So I picked up some Cricut Subly cups, you know. Um, they also say it goes with the infusible ink or whatever. But I picked up some mugs and um, and the reason why I went with these is because they're stackable. Um, you can stack them on top. There's plenty of mugs you can stack on top. Now, I didn't know they were gonna be as small as they were, but the next time, this is the last one I have, I have one more robe I have to do that I'll probably share with you guys tomorrow. Um, but here's the size, they're, they're small. But do I really need that much coffee? I do, but I don't, okay? I'm drinking some decaf coffee right now. But um, here's the mug. Now it has a special coating on it that allows you to supplement on it. And you will see that in the video as I get it going. But I just wanted to show you, I paid $10 for four mugs. You can see the price right there. I paid $10 for four mugs, okay? That's $2.50 each. Sublimation that costs a few dollars for each printout, maybe a dollar for each printout. Um, so for three dollars for each mug, I have a matching mug for all of my robes that I chose to uh, scan, copy, and sublimate onto these mugs. So okay, so those are the cups I use. Those are the reasons why I did it. Um, now let's move into the video really quickly. It's really quick, it's not much. It's just letting you see how I got it all together. And then I'm gonna share with you guys the robes, okay? See you in a minute. All right, family, so here's how we started off on this robe. I found this beautiful fabric at Joann's and I'm thinking about getting some more and making my girls some robes as well. But this fabric was just so me, you guys know I love color. Now, the one on top, the leopard with all of the leaves on there, I love the fit of this robe, which is why I'm using this robe as a template. Now, I would suggest if you're going to do this, don't do it the way I did and just lay the robe on top and cut around it. I would suggest you do it the right way with some um, paper. You can get like a big roll of almost like cardboard looking paper from the Dollar Tree or something like that. So get you a big roll of uh, paper and just go ahead and cut out your template um, of the robe. That way you can have it for later when you want to make another one. This fabric, as you can see, has a, a particular design. It starts from the yellows and the oranges and all that, and then it slowly works its way down. Now, you can pick whichever side you want to be your fabric, but what I'm saying is if you're working with a patterned fabric, you want to make sure that as you cut your pieces, you're doing your absolute best to line your pieces up with the next cut of fabric. That's very, very important if you want your piece to look flawless okay so that's what i'm doing here i'm just looking things over i'm double checking i found the cutest iron at joann's is a little pink iron so here we are sitting at the sewing machine we are sewing on the sleeves we're sewing all the shoulder pieces together as you can see here now this was tough for me because i wasn't sure what color thread i should use um, i went with black because i felt that black um you know will kind of, you know, hide certain things. And then later I changed the the top threading to yellow. Um, and it actually came out pretty good. So you see me here putting the sleeves on. Uh, be careful with that as well. I suggest you put a new needle. Here you can see that I'm trying to just uh, pull this sleeve with one hand <laughs> through the sewing machine so I can show you guys. And uh, we're sewing, now we're sewing on the edge. We're moving, we're moving ahead. 
the thing I love about this fabric is that it's a little bit forgiving. So when you are sewing on your edges around your neck down to the floor, um, you'll see what I mean once I put the rope on. When you're sewing your pretty much your extended collar because it goes around your neck and all the way down the robe in the front of both parts of the robe, both sides of the robe, you want to iron that first so that it can lay down nicely. As you can see here, Again, I'm doing yellow stitching and it actually came out pretty good. So I'm happy with that. So I finished the robe and we're moving on to our sublimated cup. So yes, I have a sublimation machine as a lot of you already know. So I took the rope portion that I liked and I scanned it on my scanner, printed out a sublimated print, and now I'm going to cut it down to size and I'm going to put it on a mug. Yes, I'm putting it on a mug and this is one of the perks of being a crafter. Um, anyone who has a sublimation machine, you guys can do this. This is a great thing to do to have matching mugs to go with your robes because why not? So here you see me just wrapping, um, the transfer over the mug and then I'm going to put it in my mug press. I do have the Cricut mug press as well as the heat press, the largest one that Cricut has to date. And um, I love them both. So here is our mug coming out of the mug press. You guys, this is always the most exciting part because you never know what you're going to get. Hopefully you did a good job wrapping it and put applying pressure and all of that. So as you can see in this little clip, actually I'm wearing the robe. So I wanted to do that so you guys could see it. But I'm going to show you a full view of the robe in just a minute. But let's take the paper off this cup. Now this is hot. So if you've never done this um i suggest you watch a video on it first don't don't go out and buy this and then just try to use it without watching some type of tutorial because uh, sis you might burn yourself okay it's it's hot and i mean it's hot so you need to make sure you have the right materials you need the right heat uh tape you need the right uh sublimation paper there's a lot that goes into it now cricket sells what they call invisible ink which is actually sublimation ink um, but if you want to do it yourself and get your own designs, you're going to have to buy a sublimation printer. So here's our mug. You guys look at, you see how that matches my robe so well. Look at that. All right, you guys. So this is the robe. Excuse my crazy hair today. I caught myself flat ironing it and two hours later it does what it wants to. So here we are. Um, I'm really happy. You can see all the beautiful colors. You can see why I went with this fabric. You guys know I love some color, okay? So um, it wasn't, this rub wasn't difficult to sew. The one that I used as my uh, reference is this one right here. Now, I this is uh, INC International Concepts uh, Intimates from Macy's. It's a beautiful robe. It's beautiful. This is not the robe that goes with it. See, I always lose them. So this is not the one that goes with it. But it's a very beautiful robe. I love it a lot. Very, very comfortable. And so I chose to use this one to do my template. Now, um, this robe retailed for about $90-something. This fabric retailed for about $30. Okay? And I had a coupon. You guys know... If you're familiar with Joann's, Michael's, all that stuff, not Hobby Lobby, they don't do coupons anymore, but Joann's and Michael's, they'll do a 25, 40%, whatever coupon. So I probably bought it for about 22 bucks, okay? The fabric. Thread is not expensive, so that's not hard. I already have a sewing machine, and I already know what I'm doing a little bit, so it was good. But this is the robe, and then I told you guys <clears throat> that I had to make the matching mugs, okay? So you saw in the video me making the mug. Here is the mug. I chose to go with this side in the front because I'm left-handed. For all of those of you who didn't know, I'm a lefty. So I wanted the brighter colors to be at the top. Now I will say again, like I said in the video while making it, to get the colors to ombre down like they do, that was difficult for me. Um, but it, it worked out. You just gotta be careful how you cut in your pieces. Okay, so that's one side. Here's the other side. And that more so goes along with the blue at the bottom. All right, so that's that mug in robe. So I'm gonna switch robes and show you the different mugs I made for the different robes. Now, and I'm showing you this because I know everybody out there don't wanna make their own robe. I know there's a lot of people that are like, sis, that's nice, friend, that's very nice, but I do not want to make a robe. Okay, so buy yourself the robe that you wanna buy, okay? 
go to, you don't have to be a, a, a big crafter. I know some people say, I don't craft. Okay, well, just get you some um, mug printing paper, some sublimation paper, and, and, and figure it out. You can do a cloth mug, you can do a sublimated mug, you can pay someone to do it, you can send them a picture and, and pay them, okay? Careful when you do that, but there's ways around it. Um, but I implore anyone who really loves fashion, anyone who really, 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 really loves fashion, I implore you to get a sublimation machine, even if it's a small one, a little eight by 11 or whatever, small printer, whatever. Get you one so that you can make some things that you like to go along with all of your accessories. As you know, with a lot of my purses back here, if you've seen some of my other videos, I use my sublimation machine to make makeup pouches to match my purses. Or for my home decor and DIY projects, I use sublimation to match the pillows or to match the, the uh, different things I have on the wall or the different fabrics I have on the uh, bed. So sky is the limit. You can do what you want, you know? So here is the first set and we're gonna go to the second set. Okay, so this is not the string that goes with this rope, but we're gonna use it for right now. Again, this rope is from Macy's in case you were interested in it. I'm not sure they still have it, but I like this rope, okay? So, again, here is the cup that I chose to go with for this rope. Here's a sublimated cup. Again, it cost me $3, but goes really well with my robe and you know we ladies you know I can't speak for all women I only can speak for some of us if my husband comes home even if I'm lounging I still want to look good even if I'm in a robe I still want to look good I want to have my oils on just in case what am I wearing today I'm wearing my pineapple juicy pineapple uh, oil today okay and it does smell just like pineapple it's good Check it out in my Etsy shop. So that's what I'm wearing today because I had a pineapple dress on earlier with pineapples on it and my little toucan earrings. And I didn't pull out the pineapple purse, but here she is. I'm getting all sidetracked, you guys. Here she is, but um, she's from Kate Spade. Anyhow, if you want to see anything in this closet, check out my playlist. I have videos on pretty much everything in here. My makeup drawers and jewelry drawers not makeup drawers my jewelry drawers and um all my pieces and all that stuff anyhow so here is the cup for this rope what do you think what do you think what do you think again sorry for the crazy hair all right so this is this rope's cup okay isn't that nice like especially if you're going somewhere you know like say it's christmas time and you have a christmas rug with a uh, robe wouldn't it be nice to have a Christmas mug that matches your Christmas robe for Christmas morning? I mean, I'm just saying. Anyhow, so this is this robe for this mug, okay? Moving on. I already told you guys I lose robes, uh, strings. So hopefully my legs ain't too ashy. Anyhow, so here's the next robe. I actually do have the strings for these robes. I gotta find them. I took them off somewhere and you know how that goes. All right, so here's this robe. And this is not one of my favorite robes, but I figured I'd still make a matching mug since I still bought the robe. All right, so here we are. Here's this one. All right, so that's the mug for this robe. Yep. We're doing the most. Here she is. All right. So now we have three. Now I have another one. I think it's in the wash that I'm going to be doing the last mug of the four on. But as you can see, where's my other one? I was able to make what well, will be four mugs, three so far, right? For seven dollars, seven fifty, right? So just it's the little things that make me happy. <laughs> it's the little things. This brought great joy for me. Um, prime example, if you haven't seen the video, check it out. I sublimated this tumbler to go with my 
purse up there, and I'm sure you may be or may not be able to see it, but I have a whole video on it, so check out the video, and for my notepad a holder. So when I'm out with my tote bag and I got my notepad, I have a tumbler to match. So sublimation. So little things like this really make your um your wardrobe look good, okay? So that is that. Let me switch back into my other robe. All right, you guys. So this is the robe. This is she, her, and it. Um, I'm really happy with this robe, you guys. Again, I love color. This reminds me of a bowl of Skittles. I love it. So um, that's what I'm going to be probably rocking for a day or two before I swap it up and wear something else. But I plan on making myself some more robes. Um, it's not terrible. I just have to make sure I make a template next time, like I already said to you guys. So I'm going to be doing a few more i gotta find me some more beautiful fabric because man robes are expensive you guys know i don't mind paying for something i want but man sometimes the prices i'm like man i'll look at the price and look like, the first thing that pops into my head is can i make it if i can make it i may not be buying it i know well, that's bad but because then if i can make it i can put my own spin on it and really make it how i want it so um i'm gonna make some more and they will be accompanied with a mug because that's just what it is now. And I hope I encourage some of you guys to at least try to do something small. It doesn't have to be a big project, but DIYs and things like that, it's good for your soul. It's good mental health therapy, okay? So um, next time you see Joann's or Hobby Lobby's or Michael's, don't drive by. Just go on in and just take a walk around and see what you might like. You know, you never know. You might find yourself a new love for crafting, okay? So that's that. I hope you guys had a wonderful time watching my video. Um, remember to stay loving you. Remember to stay wrapped in scraps, meaning repurpose, recycle, and reuse all parts of your life. Remember to stay loving you. I'll say that again. <clears throat> we have too many people not loving themselves. We have too many people not loving themselves. They love everybody else. They love their man. They love their kids. They love their mama. But they are not loving themselves, sis, bruh, if that is you, I'm going to need you to love sis, some more on yourself, okay? You're worth it. God put you here. There's only one of you. You must be something wonderful. Love yourself. And on the days when you don't feel like you can love yourself, just know that he does love you, okay? That's the second thing. Remember to stay loving you. Stay loving God because he is love. Stay loving life because you are blessed to still be here living it, Okay? It should be story time, but we'll, <clears throat> we'll save the story for another day. But um, yeah, stay love being life. If you are still breathing, if you are watching this video, man, you're blessed. Okay. I know things go on in life. I know, but you're still here. So keep pushing forward. Okay. And I'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Love you. Bye.